Hey, pastors and church leaders. My name is Sam Roberts. I'm one of the directional leadership team members here at Life Church. My specific responsibility here at Life Church is actually oversight of all of our physical locations and taking care of them, uh, known as campus operations and leadership. And I wanted to talk to you today specifically about uh, what many of you have been experiencing for the first time ever during the course of this pandemic when there have been stay at home orders and all of a sudden you have to utilize something different, a new tool, so to speak, a new way to meet. And uh, you know, I, I mentioned that I am over all of our physical locations, but I want you to, to hear me say, and I'm very passionate about all of our physical locations meeting, getting to meet again, but I am equally passionate about uh, how we utilize church online in order to reach people who can't normally be reached. I wanna encourage you to not see it as just a solution during the course of a pandemic, but a viable, not alternative, that's the wrong word, it is a viable complement to the physical work that you're already doing in your churches. Trust me, it will be able to, as you've already seen, reach deeper into your communities, who people who may, may not wanna come to your church physically, but man, they come and check it out and then all of a sudden it drives them to your community. Or maybe it just allows your um, extents, your extent of your reach of your ministry to go well beyond the community in which you've been called to serve. And it extends that reach across the globe. And what a tremendous impact that we can have. So what I wanna encourage you on is to understand that you're not looking to go back to a normal, right? Just I've heard people say, oh, we're gonna go back to normal. I can't wait till things get back to normal. And I understand the sentiment behind that. But may I say to you, I think you're gonna actually find that you're gonna go back to a new normal, right? In Luke chapter five, when Jesus tells the parable of the old wineskin and the new wineskin and sewing on a patch of new cloth onto an old one, he, he simply says that you would never like sew a new patch of cloth onto an old garment. Well, why? Well, we understand and we know that sometimes our old garments get kind of frayed and worn out, and if you put a new patch on it, well, it just simply tears away and all of a sudden it's a problem. Or when, when it regards to the wineskin, if you take a new wineskin, you put new wine in that, not old wine, because what they would do is they would pour the wine to the old wineskin as the wine's fermented and it would expand, the leather pouch would expand, but when you pour new wine into that one, it's already expanded, it will just burst the wineskin and then it'll all be bad. Jesus was creating a new paradigm, a new way of thinking. And I'll take that principle that he talked about and just encourage you to look at this as a new wineskin for you, a new opportunity, a new normal, something that you can do to continue to further your ministry, further your impact, because all of us wanna see people become fully devoted followers of Jesus. That's what we're after, that's what our heart beats for and what we drive for. And why would we ever limit the scope of our reach when there's a tool that sits in front of us to be able to extend our physical ministries across the globe and to be able to extend our physical ministries into, man, maybe there's people in your congregation who simply can't meet, or maybe even after you start meeting physically, they don't feel quite comfortable yet. And you can still reach into those homes, reach into those prisons, and anywhere else that the message can be taken, but it, because it truly can do what Jesus called us to do, and that is to go into all the world. Your message can be heard across the world. I wanna encourage you, look what God has done he has opened up a new avenue for you, a new opportunity for growth for your ministry. I employ, I encourage you, just continue to use it. Let God utilize this tool to further your ministry for impact for his kingdom.